everyone, it's Marie here from Marie Nicole Designs. I get to share with you some of the Spellbinders dies. This is part of their bold type collection. And there are these dies here that have sentiments um, that you can put on all kinds of different cards and even layouts and scrapbook pages and notebooks and things that you like to do. Um, all of these sentiments, so I have happy day here, hello, smile, congrats, all of them come with the shadow piece, which is a little bit larger that you can put in the background. And and a layering piece on top. Now you can use both of these pieces independently of each other or you could layer them and I'll show you a few different ways I'm going to be using these on cards. So the first way I'm going to be using it on a card is making a background with your sentiment. Now the sentiment is kind of the background on this card. I'm going to show you how I did this one and kind of switch it up a little bit to show you how you can use these sentiments in different ways. So like I mentioned, there's two dies for each sentiment. The first one here in white is kind of the top layering piece. This black one will cut out a shadow piece that's a little bit bigger. And it also has those diagonal score lines on there. So you get a little bit of embossed texture on there as well. You can use both of these pieces independently or you can stack them and make a shadow background. So I'm using the smile sentiment here and I'm going to be using a background as well as the top layering piece and I'm going to make a background like I showed you with that thank you card but I'm going to switch it up just a little bit and I'm going to use that shadow piece on the background of my word smile. I'm going to add it here at the bottom of my card so it's kind of like the focal sentiment that will kind of pop out against all the other little sentiments that I'm going to glue on here. So I'm not gluing down that shadow piece, that sentiment right now I'm just putting it where I want it to be when I'm done with my card and I'm gonna glue all these other sentiments around it sort of on a diagonal so I'm using my shadow sentiment my focal piece sentiment is kind of um, a placeholder and building all my other sentiments around that kind of just eyeballing it making sure that they look straight and even um, but I'm not too worried about perfection here. If you want them to be absolutely perfect, perfect, you can probably take a ruler and draw a line or something, make sure they're all evenly spaced and straight. But once you get them on here, once you get some ink blending going, no one's going to notice if they're a little bit crooked. So just have fun with this. Um, make it to where you're satisfied with it because crafting should be something that you love to do. Don't stress if it's perfect or not. So once I have these smile sentiments glued down. I'm going to take my long scissors and just trim them off of the edges, making them flush with the side of my card. Now this cardstock is trimmed down. It's a little bit more narrow than an A2 size card because I'm going to put that striped detail on the side like you saw that first card that I just showed you. Now don't throw away those pieces that you trimmed off. Keep them because you can continue your pattern with those little pieces like I'm doing here. Just glue them off the page and trim them down again so you don't have to cut a whole sentiment just to glue a little bit on your page use those pieces that you've trimmed down and fill in those gaps I'm using my journey glue with this, which is a liquid glue from fun stampers journey and this glue is great for paper crafts cards and everything because it gives you a little bit of wiggle time to get your things right where they need to be before it completely dries um, and sticks down to your paper so I've removed that shadow piece, that focal point sentiment now that I have all of these other smile sentiments around it. I'm going to trim off that remaining hanging pieces from my sentiments here um, and then part of my background is done. So. I'm going to go ahead and do some ink blending on this background. You can leave it white if you want. You can cut these um, sentiments out of colored cardstock if you want. Lots of different things that you can do. But I chose to ink blend over it because I thought that was really fun and unique. You have all of these sentiments on your backgrounds, but you can kind of ink blend them and, and make them look like they're just popping off of the background. They're part of the background. You can use lots of different colors. My first card, I did sort of a rainbowy kind of color scheme. And for this card, I'm using some of the fusion ink from Fun Stamper's Journey. I'm using some green, some blue, and some purple, and just blending them together. 
Now, when you are gluing down your little smile sentiments, you have to remember if you're doing ink blending over them, um, if you get some glue on your cardstock, your glue, when it's dry, will actually act as a resist. So you might get some spots that don't ink blend properly that shows the cardstock through from the back um, where you've got some glue on your cardstock. Um, and that did happen on my card. You can't tell very very well but um if you don't want that to happen just make sure you kind of are neat with your glue i know it's hard to do or you can use maybe some kind of um alternative adhesive where you're not going to get some glue on your background but honestly I, I made a little bit of a mess with my glue i'm always a little bit messy with it um and i got a few spots that resisted the ink but it turned out all right you can't really even tell once i have the whole card together I just thought I'd let you guys know so that's something to think about when you're um, assembling your card. So I'm coming in here with my last color. This is a dark purple and you can kind of see on that M that I just ink blended little white spots and that's where that glue is resisting. So like I said, um, you might get a little bit of that. You can't tell very, very much unless you really look at it. Um, and it does show up more with that dark ink because there's more contrast there bef between the dark and the light um, but here is the card ink blended with those sentiments on there I think it looks really fun it's kind of blending off into that white on the top um, but you can ink blend the whole thing if you want to I'm going to add my focal sentiment down here. I really love the addition of this black shadow. I think it just really pops against that colorful background. And then adding that white smile on top is really going to make that sentiment stand out. So it's kind of a fun, unique way that you can make a background with your sentiment dies um, and not just add them to a card that you've created, but actually use them to build your card with. Now I am going to build a few more cards that are really fun and pretty and you can just slap your sentiments on there. That's really easy with these um, dies, really easy to do. Build a card, grab one of these dies and slap a sentiment on to finish it. I love that, it makes it so easy. But you can also use it to build the actual background as well. Now there are five sentiments here in my card video today. You've got smile, thank you, happy day, congrats. And one more, I'm sure we'll see it, hello. The last one is hello. So these are some great sentiments, some really general sentiments that you can add on to kind of any kind of occasion card that you want. You could also add them onto scrapbook pages or your planner or different things. Um, so I think they're really fun and versatile. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit of black pigment ink and I'm actually stenciling that onto my card base. I want a little bit of the stripes peeking out the side and I wanted black because that really pops with the black on my sentiment and it really pops with the colors that I've used. So I've ink blended that, I've given it a few minutes to dry and I'm just popping this front panel up on some foam adhesive and that's going to finish the card. Now with my thank you card that I made in a similar style, I've also added a few sequins to that and you can see how they're kind of the same the same process of building a card but they're slightly different on my thank you card I didn't make any one sentiment a focal point I just made them all part of the background added some sequins so you can kind of change up this design as well I'm going to move on to another design for my cards and I've gone ahead and I've foiled a few panels. This is a foil plate from Spellbinders and it's so gorgeous. I foiled it in a few different foil colors. One's got more of a rainbow shine, one is gold. And I've just showed you a sample card there where I've, I'm kind of taking that inspiration and going with it for my next card here. Now you can use leave this white and it's just gorgeous. You can foil different colors on different color card stocks. I'm going with white and gold and then I'm going to color in all of those areas. So this is a really pretty coloring piece. Um, you can color over your foil with some gentle mediums. I'm using some alcohol markers here. I'm just being careful to stay within the lines but even if I go over that foil the, the alcohol markers didn't uh, remove it or harm it in any way so you can definitely use your alcohol markers and color 
your images in with that foil as well. I'm taking a lighter blue kind of coloring all of these open areas behind the flowers and then I'm going to fill in the flowers with some more colors. For this one I use mostly pinks and reds. The one I showed you earlier has a lot of spring colors so pinks, yellows, purples, blues, and greens. Um, you can go with any kind of color combination that you want um, and just have fun coloring. So I took a little time to color this panel. I didn't get it done in one setting. So I had to come back later and finish this. So my lighting has changed. It's not the window light anymore. I'm working with my desk light. So I apologize for that. But I hope you can still see that shine and you can see everything that I'm doing with these cards here. I'm going to be taking this rectangle die. This is also from Spellbinders. And I'm just going to cut out the middle of this card. Now you can use all kinds of different shapes if you want to do this. I'm going to be making two cards out of this one background by cutting that inside panel and then I'm left with a frame that I can then make a shaker card from. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right here. I'm taping my frame, my little die down and I'm going to cut this out right out of the center and I'm going to end up with two pieces for my cards. So I've run that through my Platinum 6. I've used a little bit of that purple tape, which is a really gentle tape for your, your cards and your cardstock. It, it generally doesn't rip when you're pulling it off. So here's that little piece that I've colored and foiled. I'm adding this onto a striped background. I didn't show how I ink blended this background because it's the same thing that I did with my first card. Just did some ink blending with that stencil and my black pigment ink. And I'm adding my florals right over the stripes. Now I love florals and stripes. I think this is a really bold design. A lot of my designs tend to be a little bit more clean and simple, but this one's pretty bold. Um, but I really like those bright flowers with that black and white stripe. I'm taking my hello dies here. I'm using the background shadow and the um, layering piece on top. And I've used a lot of white and black cardstock for these um, sentiments today, but don't forget that you can cut these out of any color cardstock. I've even cut some out of gold cardstock on one of my sample cards that I've showed you, and I'll have some more photos at the end of this video, um, so check those out as well. But I'm just going to add these um, sentiments onto the front of my card here, and I'm even leaving that O on the end kind of hanging off just a little bit. Um, I like it kind of offset a little, and when I was done with this card, I also added a few sequins here and there, just a few clear sequins. Um, so you'll see that in the photo at the end of the video as well. So that was one card with the background that I did, and I'm doing another one. I've taken this frame here, added a window, and added some foam around the outside, and I'm making this into a shaker card. So I'm adding some little confetti pieces in the middle here. I'm doing a little bit of mix of these sort of clear pieces and some of these pink pieces. I thought they both went well with the colors that I chose. Now this card, this shaker card, once I get it all together, you can see it's a pretty bold card. It's got some flowers going on. It's got some stripes and it's got some sequins going on. So it's got a lot going on and that's not a bad thing, but it's a little bit different than my usual style. So. It's good to kind of push yourself out of your little box and try new things um, and I think all of these cards just came out really fun. So you can do any kind of cards you want and then use these sentiments to just slap on a sentiment quick and easy. You can use these sentiments to make your own background and really make them the focal point. Um, so there's a lot of fun things that you can do with these bold type dies from Spellbinders. So I'm using a little bit more liquid glue here. I'm layering my pieces together, making that shadow on the back and the sentiment on the front. So it just kind of pops a little bit more, a little bit more bold and graphic, which is kind of the name of these bold type fonts. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on the front of my card. So that gives you a look at about five different cards here to go with five different sentiment dies from Spellbinders. I hope this has given you some inspiration of different ways to build cards, different ways to add these sentiments to them. They're really fun to play with um, and really easy just to add on to any kind of project. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope this has given you a great look at the bold type sentiment dies from Spellbinders. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, do all the things. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.